Amazon has a magic wand that can change the way you shop. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Amazon is testing out a device to help you with grocery shopping. It's called the Amazon Dash. It's a wand that scans grocery items so you can add them to your online shopping cart. But right now, it's only available to a few folks that use Amazon Fresh, which is Amazon's grocery delivery service. Amazon Fresh launched as a small test in 2007 in the Seattle area, and it expanded to parts of California last year. Now, aside from scanning, the Dash also has a microphone button so you can verbally add items to your list. Amazon's example video has people speaking generic food items into the microphone, like strawberry yogurt and apples. But you'll probably still need to visit the website to specify what kind of yogurt and apples. The Dash has a bit of a strange look. One half is a slick white Wi-Fi remote, and the other half is a kitchen utensil handle, making it easy to hang for storage. The Amazon Fresh program provides same day or early morning delivery of your groceries, so it can be a time saver but it doesn't serve the coupon cutting BOGO deal hunters of the world. After your free one month trial, it's $300 for a year to use the service. And Amazon throws in all the perks of normal Prime. For that price, the Amazon employee better be picking the best looking apple on the shelf. Scanning barcodes to build a shopping list is not a new concept. You can use an app to run around the house scanning items with a smartphone camera. A popular app is Grocery IQ, which is part of coupons.com. And there are apps to help you share a shopping list with your other family members, like Our Groceries. I personally use Couple. If you want to eat healthier, the app Shop Well scans barcodes to give you advice on which foods are better for you. In other news, let's turn to what's new with Google Glass. The headgear makes it easy to capture hands-free videos and photos, but now you can live broadcast videos and stream them online with a new live stream app. The early Explorer edition of Glass doesn't have great battery life. It only lasts a few hours with typical use, and recording and streaming constant video will drain the battery like that. But if you connect it to a battery pack for more juice, you could broadcast all sorts of things from a point of view perspective, like maybe a concert. And those watching the video stream can type comments that will show up on the glass wearer's screen. Now you just have to figure out how to get the drummer of the band to wear it the whole time without losing cool points. That's your tech news update. Head to CNET.com for more details on these stories. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.